Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is the review of the Zalman Trimon 2D or 3D convertible LCD monitor. In the case packaging, there is a audio cable, there is a 3D installation CD. Three D glasses, clip on three D glasses, a VGA cable, and a DVID cable, and a power cord. Here are the buttons on the side of this monitor. We have a menu button, a self slash auto button, a mute button, and a volume button, a mode button, and an MWE button, and a power button. This mode button simply switches between DVI and VGA. The first thing you'll most likely notice on the back of this monitor is a silver screw here. This silver screw allows you to adjust the height of the monitor. To adjust the height of this monitor, simply unscrew it. Once you've unscrewed this screw, you're able to adjust the height. The inputs on the back of this monitor are audio inputs, DVI-D, VGA, and power. This monitor has one, two, three, four, five rubber feet, meaning they will not scratch anything that you choose to put it on. Also bear in mind that if you're looking to dismantle this to take it somewhere, you can just unscrew these. Once you've unscrewed it, simply pull it off. Please also bear in mind that if you want to install a wall mount onto the back of this monitor, you can remove this by unscrewing these four screws. Once you've unscrewed the screws, simply lift it off. As you can see, there is the place to put the wall mount, if you choose to. This monitor has lots of ventilation. This will mean it will keep cool when it's on for long periods of time. To install the special 3D drivers for this monitor, simply find this disc, Insert it into your PC. Once you put the CD into your PC, find where the CD is located. In this case, it's in my computer. Open the CD. Find the 3D stereo driver and install that. It will ask you to restart your PC, but that's just normal. If you're on NVIDIA, which I am, once you've installed this, simply go to your Right click NVIDIA control panel, wait for it to load, once in the control panel find where it says stereoscopic 3D, and click setup 3D, enable stereoscopic 3D, drag it to default, press apply and you're good to go. All you need then is to wear the 3D glasses and you can get on with your 3D gaming. 
To prove that this monitor is in fact 3D enabled, here is a snapshot of Call of Duty, and with a simple key command I can change it from 2D to 3D. In this case I have used Ctrl and T. As you can see, the blurred effect. As, this is not the ideal way to actually film the demo of the 3D itself, but you get a general idea that this monitor is in fact 3D. As with a lot of monitors these days, this monitor has the function to move it from a landscape to a portrait position. And as usual with these video reviews, I'm going to go over the positives and negatives. The first positive is an obvious one. It's the fact that this monitor features 3D technology. This allows you to experience something new that you never thought you would be able to with your computer normally. The second positive is that the glasses actually come with the monitor, allowing you to get straight in on the 3D action. From a negative point of view, the only real negative I can find is the fact that the screen is very reflective. But aside from that, I struggled to find many negatives with this monitor. If you're looking for a great screen to introduce you to the 3D world, or just want another 22 inch monitor, either way, this is most likely the screen for you.